Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival Reforged Eden version 1.7. I am Zystars, and lots have ha lots has happened. We have a lot of uh, updates to the base. I have finally chosen the CV and and spawned it in. So we are going to go do a quick uh, review of that, and let's get to it. Okay, first things first. I threw in an extra one of these because, oh, we appear to be out of materials to make bandages. Oh, I need more of that. That's cool. That's easy. Let's go to the fridge. Let's go here. And we need some more plant fibers. That'll do. Let's do 160. Okay, so I'm making bandages. And then over here, I'm making these regeneration kits, which are friggin' amazing. They do 500 health, I think. Yeah, 500 health, and then they fix all of that crap on there. They do take one of these, a health pack, but that's fine. It's, it's totally fine. We got all sorts of crap in our fridge now. So in the back here, I put in a couple of cargo extenders the input which is pretty full now that we took apart the, uh, more of that assembly yard we got 200 of these hydrogen cells whoops those don't go in there I put up a flak turret and a missile turret on the base to ward off enemies and I built a garden it's not pretty it's just a garden 36 plots but the grain the vegetables like all of this stuff the only thing I don't have is sweetener. I have one little baby sweetener, which I just got. And the sweetener is going to allow me to make... Oh, yeah. I put access to all this crap. The sweetener is going to let me make... Uh, what do you call it? Ratatouille? No, ham. It's going to let me make the ham, which is going to let me make the ratatouille, which is going to let me make the ration packs. Needs the ration packs. Now it says I can make burgers, which means I must have bread. Yep. So let's make a couple of those once we're done with health packs. Tons of meat from clearing out POIs. So I kind of flew around a bit. I found... Oh, my tent. I always forget my tent. Abandoned bunker. Abandoned factory. Abandoned assembly yard. The other abandoned assembly yard. And then the, the two factories and the assembly yard that we're based at. And then I had... That's garbage. I don't need that anymore. And then I put up a hydrogen extractor here for fuel. Now beyond that, finally chose the the CV that we're going to use. It's called the Janus ASV module. It was built by Jay Randall on the workshop. If you haven't seen his stuff, then you're probably living in a cave of Imperionness. But his builds are probably the best I've ever seen. Spange is a close second, because this uh, CV, or SV right there, that's one of uh, uh, Spange's, if you don't remember me saying that before. So we've got constructors, and there's four bays for more constructors. Well, three for more, because it's got one advanced. So I'll probably throw a deconstructor there and a couple more advanced before we take off. Now the whole idea to this one is it starts out as a shell, and then come, you, you build it, you, you upgrade it until it's ready to take off. So the actual unit itself is pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap. Um, I don't need it in the factory. But it doesn't have engines, it doesn't have all of the power it's going to need. It doesn't, it doesn't have a lot. There's a lot of things this thing doesn't have. So let's throw some fuel in it real quick. Let's see, input container. We have 500 of those. That'll work. Now, as with many builds by people that put things on the workshop that are upgradable, I went up too high. Oh, where, where is it? I gotta get up there. That's the second floor. I'm not a hundred, because when, when I you know went through this thing in the workshop, I did it in god mode. Here we go. So here's the up, whoops, upgrade instructions, if you want to read through that. Oh, I've got to put CPUs in as well. 
15 turret mounts. It's got 15 turret mounts. Now it's going to take most of the CPU in order to get it off the ground because it's set up for, uh, what is it, the advanced thrusters. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep using my current base until I have the, you know, everything built for this, the thrusters, because, I mean, the base is already there. It's got everything in it for now, and it's got my garden, so I'm not going to disassemble the garden yet. Now, the one thing about this, there's the cockpit. There's nothing in it. The one thing about this that I'm not super jazzed about is the size of the garden. Wait, where was the garden? Oh, man. Oh, hold on. There's a thing right here. No? Oh, I thought it had a thing that said what's on each floor. Okay. Uh, second floor. What's over here? No, that's not it. There's a third floor. Okay, so here we go. The garden's only 18 plots. Which I'm not super jazzed about. That's pretty small for what we're going to be doing. You know, flying around, doing all of this stuff. So I'm going to have to plan out the gardens, you know. But, you know, that's, that's just one little thing. Everything else about this is badass. Yeah, here's the cockpit. We'll drop the cockpit here. It's got a spot for the core, which is kind of interesting since the core is in a different spot of the ship. I'm not sure why... That's why he did that, but there's a spot for one of the one of the uh, improved CPU units. Fuel. Okay, and then just it's got this massive bay, which is just great. Like everything fits in here. It's got production, 320, 320, 320, 320, and then a 40k ammo storage. That's going to be the more the generator up there, but this is the repair bay. I don't know why they call them armor repair. They repair everything. We're going to put medical here. There's the showers. There's a shield generator. Warp core goes up there. Long range radar goes there, which I totally forgot was a thing. And then if we go outside... Here's the... Here's the um, engine housing. Engine housing. And then engine housing here for the up and down. Up, engine housing for the down. Engine housing for the front. Engine housing for the left. And that's the same on the other side. Now this is a cool feature. So, these are drill. Oh, you missed a D. <laughs> these are drill mounts. So we're gonna put drills in there for eventually. They're really high CPU, so they're gonna be a while. And then the it's got feet right there and right there. And this guy docks into the Helios MSC. It docks in there. There's several of these modules. There's the Helios P. Uh, where's the other one? There's one that starts with a P. Plutus. There's the Plutus one. So I think this is the one with the mining capabilities. Yeah, that's the that's the tier one or the version one. This is the version two. He did a really good job of making these usable, no matter the version, vanilla or reforged, and he's got instructions on each one. So but with the exception of a couple of them, because the the Helios has a reforged version and a vanilla version. So just because they're so different. Same size class. Combat capabilities are a lot different. Infantry. Attack defense. That's kind of... Oh, that's probably like sentry guns and stuff. But they're the same size. They just have more or less blocks. But I don't know if I'm going to bother with that. This one is pretty good. I think if it was a whole group of people, then having... I think there's four docking bays on that big one. Having that would be awesome, but we'll see. I don't. Who knows? Who knows how long this playthrough is gonna go? Okay, so let's uh, let's get to doing some things now. I've got resources in the factory, and I already spawned—not spawned, built 
a few of these. So because I had been dumping everything into the factory, I went ahead and built these things here. The advanced thrusters, shield generators, Pentexid, or war a warp core and a Pentexid tank. The scarab is going to get us more logs because I'm tired of using the chainsaw. So that's, uh, all of that is going to happen over time. Now, how much in the way of... Okay, so I, I managed to get myself down to 77 Arrestrum as the Scosium, which I think is more... Yeah, the, these things need 105. But I could easily add in Arrestrum and Zescosium, and that would help use some of these things here, which... Yeah, it might it might be a thing. As a note, and I didn't have my recording software set up because I wanted to get this thing situated, but if you when you spawn a CV, you will get a couple of big ass drones coming at you. All right, so we need what do we have in the way of CPU in my in the in the in the in the in the in the you know the 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 thing. <laughs> Okay, so we got these base ones. So I don't have any capital vessel. Any capital vessel CPUs. So that's a problem. Alright, so let's grab... I got a bunch of crap in my inventory. Oh, I need to do some repairs. My what's a jinger got beat up. Let's throw those in. I don't think we're going to need that. Oh, loot. So, we've got quite a few. Like, this is the stuff that I'm not going to sell immediately. Right? We've got some heavy armor, durable heavy armor, improved light, reinforced medium. Some regular heavy armors. we got a few of the, the reds, which is cool. I have a improved rock, or advanced guided rocket launcher as well, which is great. That thing has come in handy a couple of times. Just looting those POIs. And since I didn't put them on camera because they're all the same. It's the, you know, it's just doing the same thing over and over again. But we also, in the sale box, have a ton of this crap. Just so much stuff to sell. I'm not sure what to do with that. So much crap to sell. And I might end up keeping, like, an advanced multi-tool or whatever repairs left yeah or I might just use one of these there's a mini gun but I don't really need that and I might keep a pulse rifle as a backup because this one I've repaired it's only got three repairs left I've been using a shit out of that and I'm not gonna get rid of the tier two combat shotgun so let's keep one of these we'll put those in the weapons and equipment box and then we've got some of these data pads unlocks research points when we get to the Project Eden stuff, and then a couple of schematics, that'll be cool. I don't know if I care about the Appleseed Brews, but we'll see what they do. Schematic, mining, ice mining drills, so that's pretty cool. We'd have to retrofit the the ship for that, but... Oh, the top of it. Yeah, we'll look at that in a minute. So let's get the deconstructor deconstructing. Oh, it is already. Excellent. But I want it all to go into the input container. Yeah, these things don't deconstruct. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Not sure what I'm going to do with them. Okay, the roof. <clears throat> so there's landing bays on the roof. Ooh, I'm not sure what that's for. That's kind of weird. And there's a bunch of turret mounts up here too. See, there's two, three, three on each side, so six. This, here's the access to the roof. This takes us where? Oh, okay, it's the top of the elevator. Fantastic. Now, obviously, if we're mounting on the M MSC, we're not going to have anything mounted up here. But until that happens, we can go ahead and put stuff up here. Now, as you can see, you're going to throw the turrets here, and they've got this height marker here. So it's going to fit just fine. I tested it. It fits just fine on there. All in all, a really cool ship. Now, I just thought about something. When I spawn in those CV parts, it's going to it's going to trigger a base at an attack. So we're gonna see that firsthand. Let's go ahead and do it. 
Uh, let's put them. Let's see, advanced thruster. Yep, there it is. Your exit detected construction of a capital vessel. Where is it? Come on, baby. Where are those little vestiges? There they are. Ooh. There we go. The flat cannons are taking that one out. And... Oh, no. Oh, you little bastard. Ah, that's a problem. Maybe I should get the shield generator on that thing real quick. Before we go doing too much more of this. We'll loot those. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get the shield... Ah. Because that thing, that thing totally ripped up. It didn't punch a hole in it, it doesn't look like. I don't see any holes, but I know those rockets came this way. Or I could just spawn those things in over here. And just kill them with the SV. At least the shield generator. Yeah, let's do that. Let's spawn them in over here. Let's see, shield generator. Actually, I might even be able to connect. Yeah, the shield generator will fit there. So if we bring it down, I might be able to spawn it and pick it up. Uh, we yeah, should probably set that to retrieve blocks. All right. Shield generator spawn. No? It didn't, uh, it didn't attack us. Interesting. Maybe because there, it hasn't been enough time. How much space do I have left? A lot. I don't know how big the warp core is. Let's see, capital vessel, warp drive is 4.8, and I've got, oh yeah, I can do the warp core. So let's drop the warp core down. And the pentaxid tank, uh oh, pentaxid tank I'm too full for. That's okay, we have a ammo controller. Cannot pick up inventory full. How big is the Pentaxid tank? It's over a thousand. How about now? Son of a bitch. No? How about... Damn it to hell. I'm gonna have to make a new one, aren't I? Alright, let's get over. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's so heavy. Wow, I didn't realize those things weighed that much. Okay, let's drop these off. Let's see if we can actually make it. We got it. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Beautiful. I should have renamed the abandoned assembly yard so it didn't have such a big thing there. Okay, now, I don't know about the thruster. Let's get the Janus. I gotta change that name. Silly name. <laughs> I gotta get the Janus shielded. Once that thing is shielded, then we'll be good to go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's start putting this thing together. Alright, so the shield generator is gonna go here. Let's see. It's gonna go like that. Come on, baby. There we go. There's the shield generator. Gonna go... Mm. Yeah, let's cover the P. 
Perfect. All right, and then we've got that guy, and that will upgrade because that's just a large constructor. Let's before we get too excited, let's get the cores put in. CPU adjustment. All right, I know. The, oh, okay. There, there's lots of room up here for advanced cores. I see. So one of them goes here, and then there's room for four of them in here. So that's where the advanced cores go. And then the basic... Oh, maybe that's what this is. So there's an improved core here. And I would imagine right there. I guess. And then we pop you. And we put you there. Okay, cool. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to pop these as well and put in the, the good windows, but we'll do that in a minute. All right, so now we don't have to worry about our core overheating, our engines overheating because we don't have enough CPU. All right, oh wait, first, ooh, am I gonna be able to get in there? Oh yeah, there's a door. All right, so right here is the gravity generator. So we've got that in the queue, it's just not ready yet. Long range radar, can I make that? What does that take? Here we go. Oh, it'll take one of my upgrade kits. That's fine. Oh, you know what? Do these take upgrade kits? No. They don't. Okay. Okay, so we've got... I got the three... Three advanced constructors working here. This will be where the deconstructor goes when I bring it over. And then that actually leaves a whole nother bay, which is kind of awesome. So we have a long range radar. So let's rotate you. And I know it's kind of weird for it to be on the inside, but hey, it works. We got a couple more Jennies. So let's throw, let's see. Why are you not going into the spot? Do I need to remove those blocks? Okay, generator number one. Okay, so we got the generators in. Now let's throw in the rest of the CPU up here just to make sure we don't accidentally do dumb shit. There's that and that, and we've got one more being built what else? Oh. Let's see. Let's throw the armor locker in. I brought that from the base. Let's throw some medical in. Alright, so we'll have our basic chamber. We'll do... We do, we do broken legs a lot. Because the gravity here is a little high. So let's start with the broken leg. And then we'll do the detoxification. I think I made three more. Okay, so let's do that one and then the parasite one. Oops. Yeah, I can do this. There we are. Did I make too many? I made too many. Son of a bitch. One, two, three, four, five. I had three in the other base. I made too many. That's all right, I have a deconstructor. Base, deconstructor, boink. All right, or I could just put that back in the base, just in case. And that can go in the deconstructor. Imperial laser, Imperial plasma. I don't know. I could put those on this ship and then just buy the ammo for it. Ooh, look at that, shield capacity, negative 75 for that one. Shield capacity, negative 50. Ooh, 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 that's not good. All right, so I did notice... Okay, he's still building. I did notice I'm out of material. I'm out of Zascosium. This thing's using the last of the available Zascosium alloy. So we're going to... and that, So that only puts us at three? Three engines out of the 12 that we need. Which means... 
what we might end up doing is putting these on the back. Uh, there we are. Oh, I gotta pull those off. Let's put these on the back. To give us the thrust. Yeah. And then... Thrust. Turn the thrusters off. Ooh, this thing is eaten through fuel. We definitely need to get some bigger and bigger fuel containers in here. Oh, that's something I didn't build. Let's see if we can get... Now, I prefer the tier 3 fuel. But I'm not sure where to put them. Oh, there's another two more spots for generators. Okay, so there does seem to be a bit of a, a fuel crisis in this ship. So what we're going to do is we're going to put... Two of them here in one of the the bays. I know that's not optimal for placement, but I hardened the floor instead of it just being steel to kind of give us a little more protection there. And then the other one went up here. I thought they were hidden, but they're not. And then the, the last one is right here, right there, because there were two small ones and now there's one big one. So... The original design of this ship only had space for two medium-sized fuel containers, which is nothing. Like, that is so little fuel. But now, we can head over to... Whoops. Where did I put that stuff? I oh, no, I think I moved everything in here. We can drop in a hundred of those, and that'll keep this thing fueled forever. Oxygen... You seem to be getting kind of low. That's a little weird. Maybe I didn't fill it all the way. All right, so now, oops, what did I just do? Let's head upstairs. Uh, which floor was it? Second floor, right? No, second floor is this random shit. I don't know what this is for. Because this leads out. I might put a couple, like a shield capacitor in here, or shield charger. That might be a good way to go. All right, let's grab... Was I not... Did I go too far down? No. No, these gotta be like that. Oh, wait. Yeah. I ripped up too much of the ground. Oops. I think. No, because these... These gotta come up. Yeah, I didn't rip up too much of the ground. Because these things are airtight. Alright, there's our farm, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I thought... Hmm. No, this wasn't the one with the crew compartment. That was one of the other ones. Oh, I didn't actually build a cockpit yet. Let's go down and build a cockpit, since we got a couple other things to put in. You. You can build the cockpit. Let's see, boom, and, right? I don't have a cockpit yet? No. Oh, do I have a gravity generator? No. We'll build that. And then, where's the cockpit at? There it is. Build the cockpit. The other thing we're going to need to do is upgrade the shield generator. To get it to a higher tier. Oh, and I want... I want... Solar paneling. These are... They generate 50 watt. This one generates 100 watt. It's not a huge amount, but it can save us a ton of fuel. Now, once we're ready to start going through the process of docking to the other ships, we won't be able to have these. They're 5 by 3 googly. Now, are you pushed all the way back? Okay, so that's all the way back. All right. I don't know, it just seems like it should be back farther. But this is where the down is gonna go. Okay. Uh, I shouldn't have made as many CPUs units. 
I should not have made so many CPU units. But we can put the fifth one in. Let's put the fifth one in since we, I mean, we have it. We might as well go ahead and use it. Boink. Now that should give us all of them. Cargo box, where is it? Core systems. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So this thing is fully, fully loaded until auxiliary cores become a thing that we that we find. And what's next? Oh, let's throw in the gravity generator and immediately turn it off because we don't need it while we're on planet. Because that'll just drain power. In fact, can we turn the warp core off? No. See, that's kind of why I want to put these these in. So we're not going to use the landing bay. So if I lay flat... No. No. Yes. If I lay these flat on here... Shit, I could even use them as a cover for that... It might block the turrets. But I think we'll be fine. There we go. That'll give us a little bit of power. Not on this. Well, actually, I think these just, just generate power. Yeah. Because they don't actually absorb solar power. They just generate power. And if they're that big, I can line this whole top with them. Because this bay, this bay will fit my ship in. And the HV that I plan on spawning and something else. I might leave some space up here for an SV. But I think we can get easily two more. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to go ahead and cut this episode. We had just a big building episode. Which was cool. I think next episode we'll jump over to Trade Station Delta and kind of see what they have for us. And then jump over to the UCH and Odyssey and see what they've got for us. We might be able to get some things going there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for some more content. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you've used this before, let me know. Let me know what your experiences were like because I'm digging this ship. I'm, I'm super excited for it. But as always, everyone, have a great rest of your day.